good evening welcome into another episode on the location actually is my paradise which is the Cascini Marsh natural reserve peace and quiet it's evening now I have maybe one hour of the light left it's so much water today that is outstanding This place is so peaceful. I'm nearly every day here. I know that place very well. And I try to do everything to protect that place as well. When you are first time here, you think it's okay, it's just ducks here, swans. I doing my research so many years here and I know exactly you can see the grey hair on maybe even tree even we have a kingfisher plenty of buzzards into that woods and into that these fields as well look heron is going there Maybe you see, maybe not. They're far away anyway. But there's the kingdom and the, and the kingfisher as well. That's his paradise, that's his... ...stream. There's plenty of water at the moment now, look. How, man, how much water is here. We have the... ...fox as well. I saw him a few times, I photographed him once but I know he's here in the bushes there he lives somewhere over there the Cascini marsh is not only the, the water the marsh here is the woodland as well above over there which which I show you on the next episode maybe and uh, how I shoot here how I shoot over there what you can find over there and over here as well like you know it's very calm evening. Like I said, I don't have so so much time because of the lighting condition is sunset at the moment. <coughs> but the water is very still at the moment, and the, maybe Kingfisher will show up. Maybe I photograph him, or maybe I don't. Overall, when I come in here, I respect this place as much as I can because it's all my home it's all my hometown like you know and uh, it's nothing more precious than the enjoy the wildlife and the taking the photos of these beautiful birds and the mammals as well Of course I have a full camera in my backpack which is not a camera backpack, it's my normal backpack that's the best way to see the kingfisher you can come over here and uh, you know hey hello kingfisher no no it's, it's not working but uh, yeah this is stunning place I wish the people care more about it. Look how many how many birds, swans, 
dogs, mallards, plenty of small birds in the bushes here and over there. You can imagine what you can see. Oh, that was the boozers now flying over there. Oh, I missed that. This is the best spot for me. That tree. Show you. <clears throat> From the inside, you can actually come over here. And I'll be invisible, to be honest. The trucks there. As you see, maybe not the. Geez, definitely the track of the, the path of the fox or whatever is walking down there because I was trying to go down there but it's not possible for a human but I think the It's amazing to be here again. I was actually miss already that place. I was here two days ago. It was heavy raining in Ireland, especially in Cove. That's why it's so much, so many water here. It's overflowed that normally it's, it's okay here, but uh, it's, it's good to be here. Connect with the nature and uh, showing you <coughs> <clears throat> it's not that far it's not that far from your home to find the place where the nature is bursting yeah. if the lighting conditions will be nicer staying I'll show you another place from the road normally people was, was visiting whole clear region as well they feed the ducks they feed the, the other birds another thing I just want to mention is that from the photographer point of view it will be brilliant to have a height over there but I know it's the, the private land and the, like you see the, it's, when it's the raining it's overflowed so I don't know how to how to manage that, but that would be nice. So far, I use the full camouflage. Coming early morning, when you sleep, I'm already here sometimes and hunting for kingfisher and the other birds. So in the few days, if the weather condition will be nice I will come back here and I will shoot some photographs of my favorite wildlife favorite birds especially the kingfisher on this road it's going all over the place so mainly the visitors of the marsh shoot just have a look from the from the roadside <coughs> which I think is a good idea like you see so many cars here sometimes this tree behind me is so epic I love the, the branches and the 
so nice tree. Epic shape, epic shape. It will be one day fog over here behind the, the tree. This will be nice composition, even from the, from the roadside. From the other hand, we have the fields as well, across the road. So it's paradise for the buzzard. And the other birds as well, foxes. So it's a perfect time now for the foxes, but as I'm talking to you, I'm not concentrated to have a look so much. But uh, it's not important for a while now. But look at the view, look at the... This place. Maybe it's, some, maybe it's too dark, but uh, we'll see on the, on the final process. I just want to show you the, the main marsh. And if the lighting condition will be nice, i show you the woodland, part of the woodland as well. Stay with me. Like you see, I... I disturb them, but they will be back in a minute when I'm gone. Yes, I'm so happy. They live, they live here. That's brilliant. Leave me the comment if you think the same, please. It mattered to me a, a lot, and uh, yeah, heron is flying over. Now is heron on the tree. And the branch over there. If you see it, I I try to show you. And another ducks. I will try to shoot the, the heron here, from here. The view is, the branches, they make the nice composition. Maybe something would be nice. Yeah, looks nice to me. And one tip, if you're happy, What you can see on the on the screen, check your sharpness. And if you're sharp already, and when you're happy, what, you, what image you have on the camera, I guarantee you would be nice on the on the computer or in the post processing. You can do magic stuff with it. I show you hopefully that photo on the end of the video. Stay with me and follow me. We're going for more.
this is the nice touch of the Beardwatch, Beardwatch Island and the sign which you can find in this spot here is the how it looks like so we are here I was there and now we head up head down to the to this part hopefully it will be not too dark but such a beautiful place and calm and uh, if I'm here that's the most important things as well don't feed them by the bread please whatever you have in home pasta uh, leftover salad leftover rice whatever you can find in the fridge but no bread please the birds doesn't accept the, the stomach doesn't accept the the, the, the bread and uh, changing the, the water as well they're not good for them so please respect that if not just read some articles or books about it about the birds just the simple stuffs stuff and uh, every will be everybody will be healthy you in mind and them as well and they're gonna live longer This is the, the road, which is private property. You actually can't go down there. I know it's a small pond, pond over there, and even herons sometimes hunting. But the, if you're lucky, and it's the sun on this position, on the other side, all that part is bright. You can see whatever you can find over there in the, in the, in the branches and the bushes. I know maybe 1% of that woodland because it's so old and it's, it's private property so I don't want to disturb nobody. The owners and the animals as well. But from the roadside, what you can expect is this this glorious evening I try to show you the sunset And yeah, we can go just a little bit further and uh, enjoy the walk in the field for foxes, buzzards. and whatever, whatever you can imagine. It's lovely evening, so calm. And I'm happy I'm out again and I can share with you my experience. The cars again. 
no one car. <laughs> this part of the woodland is, I think, is the best one. The old trees, the old dead trees. You can imagine if the buzzard will be sitting over there. one of the, the dead trees the composition will be brilliant but I never saw saw them here oh. something small but for me it's completely dark now to take taking the photos I think is I don't want to even try perfect time for the foxes especially on the fields here but for me it's too dark and I don't have that much time today as well but I show you definitely the other day because that why that that was that was I was create this channel because I have in mind all the time the I'm shooting from here. Yeah. I think I see, saw something, but uh, as always, that was my imagination. But the birds are still singing. So, it's not bad. Just let them passing the car. And uh, we're gonna get back to the other side because it's the sun sunrise over there. So I show you as well just a little bit of the the sea of the part of the reserve. Which to be honest, after so many years. I never shoot from down there. No, sorry, I take one photo in black and white. Maybe two, three years ago, it was the fog and the water was so flat. But uh, it's better the lighting down there. And then I show you over there in a the minute.
enjoy it that episode just comment like subscribe and let me know if you like it stay with me and uh, until next time bye for now I'll see you soon